Nearly two weeks ago, Iceland's newest volcano started to erupt. It's an easy drive from Reykjavik, it's an even easier drive from the airport, but the catch is, it's a 14 kilometre hike over the mountains and it's only accessible in good weather. Now today is August the 16th and that means, believe it or not, in some parts of Iceland, winter is thinking about setting in. So I'm hiring a car, I'm taking my little yellow tent and I'm hoping that I get a weather window in the next week to go and see this volcano. in at quarter to midnight last night and did basically had me over a barrel so I stayed at the airport hotel and um, this morning picking up the car probably heading out for Golden Circle because yeah I keep looking past the cameras because I'm outside I can just watch the wind and the rain okay right got the car it's pouring with rain so um, I've got to wait till my glasses are clean enough to be able to see and then I gotta be brave enough to drive it yeah, no, that's not good because it's, it's left hand drive and I'm not accustomed to that. I also gotta figure out which exit I'm supposed to be leaving by. Oh, cars are stressful. There's a, there's a grey line bus over there that I could be on. much today because mostly I've been battling with the car. I do not particularly enjoy left hand drive, it's a pain and learning to drive one of these things at an airport is horrible because it's confusing enough at home, let alone in a weird car that you've only just got in. Anyway, I am now at Kjergerdi and camping here for the next couple of days and I'm out for my evening walk and uh, let's just what on earth disused greenhouses I think. I don't know why I said what on earth, this village is famous for its greenhouses. It's called the Greenhouse Village. Um, it's called that. Ta -da! It's called that because it's got lots of greenhouses because it's a very active geothermal area. Um, up on the hill, up there, which you can't see at the moment but I'll show you in a sec, the hill is literally steaming. That's where the hot river is except it's up beyond the hill. 
right there. You see the steam coming up there? It's just coming out the ground, it just happens around here. not very far to the campsite but it's further than I would have liked in the rain. I'm planning to go see my volcano today.